Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Football Manager 20. This is our Union Berlin save with our journeyman climbing the ladder. Uh, episode 10, I think I already said that, but uh, we had three games since our last episode. That big 4-3 win over Hamburger. Uh, we beat uh, Erdingen. Erdingen. I'm guessing Erdingen. 2-1 in the Pokal. We got goals from Nadim Zek and Nico Schroeder. Uh, Stuttgart, we beat 3-1. to one. Le Pitre Rouye with a goal and Schroeder with a brace. And then against uh, Braunschweig, uh, Jan Urban and Tom Hill with goals. Uh, Hill scored the game winner just a few minutes after Kevin Spanier uh, gave them the equalizer. So today we're back to play Nuremberg and Schimnitzer. Uh, taking a look at the table, we are currently in Fifth position, nine points from three matches. Uh, so, eh, you know, we're, we're doing well. We're, we're doing well. One, two. Yeah, okay, that was right. That was the Polkel. So uh, we had seen Hamburger. Oh, that was, that's what, I only did one match because it was the transfer window. I had to think for a minute. Um I hadn't recorded this since last weekend, so, you know. And then I'm going out of town again this week for two days, so I'm having to get ahead even more. Uh, so recording this on Friday, you guys should see this one on Saturday or Monday. I don't know I don't know which one, but uh, anyway, we're getting to it. Uh, Union Berlin sitting in fifth position in the table. We're playing we're playing well. I mean, it's kind of early. Uh, Nico Schroeder, top goal scorer. Uh, for Union Berlin. Uh, let me do a quick shout out. We'll do it as quick as we can. Uh, just kind of going down through uh, my list here. Andreas Monksgard Veer, uh, welcome to the channel. I hope I got that right. And that might be German, might be. Uh, let's see. And I know all of these are not gonna be from Football Manager, but still. Uh, C. Miller, welcome to the channel. Uh, Roman, no, I don't want to be friends. Uh, who else? I know there was a few other people. Oh, It's Raw. I remember he subscribed on an old video uh, from my Stranded Deep Save. Uh, one of my how-to videos from about a year ago. Uh, let's see, anybody else? Anybody else? thought there was one or two more but i think that's it all right well let's get into the matches today we are home underdogs so what are we gonna do if i remember what we had been doing i would be dangerous and why is my goalkeeper out where is my goalkeeper kamara mcdade did we sell him? Do I have a transfer I need to update us on? Maybe? Hold on. Real quick. All right, so we we went through the month of August. I may have sold him? I did sell him. Just the Oh, I sold him today. Oops. I forgot. Well, not today cuz it was today in the game, but it was a week ago. I forgot. All right, so Carl Drabond, we sold him to Ingolstadt for 350000 Now, we did sign uh, two players in the month of August. I don't need these for football manager. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, let's make sure you guys are caught up. Matthias Sievers, we got from St. Pauli. 250,000. He is a left winger, five star potential, two car, two car, two star current ability. 16 year old German. Uh, so he's more of a future player. And I think my uh, director of football signed him. And John McDade comes in on loan from Leeds United. So <laughs> we got an offer for Drabond. And I don't think we could pass it up. And we saw this guy, and he was on loan. 
from Leeds. We put an offer in. They accepted. And then there was an issue with a potential takeover or something, and they froze. They weren't able to do tr transfers, so it got blocked. And so I was like, oh, my God. And I was trying – I was scouting all kind of guys because I had kind of already taken this offer for Drabond and – couldn't find anybody that was worth a shit. And um, then I got an email that, you know, because I'd already made an offer, he was on my short list automatically. So then I get an email that somebody's put an offer in for him. And I went, oh, their embargo must be over. So uh, I went back and put a bid in on him. They accepted. So he's here. I believe he's going to be our new, our new number one choice. Uh, let's take a look between him and Kamara. Because that's the only other guy that would have a shot. So Kamara's a little bit better at shot stopping. McDade is a little bit better at communication. Neither one are very eccentric. So they're both pretty even. If we take a look at, let's look at sweeper keeper on defend. So slight advantage, pretty good advantage. Pretty good advantage, even, mostly even. One-on-ones and passing, edge to Kamara, okay. Reflexes are about even, rushing outs about even, throwings about even. Uh, agility, a pretty good advantage to McDade. Composure. Concentration, decision making. I think that's going to, I think that his mental, I think that's going to throw it over to McDade. They're both 20 years old. Uh, let's see, squad, Kamara. All right, Kamara's on loan as well. So we're not beholden to either one. So we have two loan keepers. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, that happens. That happens. All right, let's get back to wherever we're at. Come on. Come on. There we are. All right. So I think we're going to continue with this tactic. We're going to give, give it a run. We've been doing well with it. I mean, we've been winning. All right, McDade is chosen by the assistant manager. All right, Schroeder has been doing really well. He's got four goals in three league matches, playing an 8.23. And, uh, yeah, he is doing really well from that winger position. He, he doesn't have great finishing, but, you know, he he's just always seems to be in the right place at the right time. And, uh, yeah, so let's, uh, let's see what happens here. Uh, we do have McNally on the – Bench, we've got an issue with him. Full training in five days. Let's not, well, problem is, he's ineligible, why? Below the age limit. And Katitas is unregistered. But he's on loan, so he's not even here. So let's filter out not at club and let's filter out well let's just filter out all of our unavailable players. All right, Benedict Stein 5 to 11 days. We're just going to have to go a player short. I don't even want to be tempted to have him on the bench. And I do have I do have other striker options, so I think we'll be good there. Uh, I think my diabetes is acting up. My my vision's a little a little off, and that's usually how I can tell. Um, diabetes is dealing with your blood sugar, and I do take uh, medication. Uh, Got to watch your weight, guys. Your weight and your sugar intake. Just a warning. Uh, it catches up with you over time. All right, and that, that, because it deals with your blood, uh, your vision is one of the things that's affected. 
And so when my vid, you know, I can tell when my blood sugar is kind of out of kilter because it, my, uh, my eyes get kind of blurry and my prescription doesn't work as well as it used to. Uh, so it'll come back in line. Probably too many sweets. I ate a bunch of cashews yesterday. So need to just be a little more careful. All right, Ackerman. Oh, that was a nice ball by him. Gee whiz. All right, good save by McDade. The first time we've seen him in a highlight. They get the first shot. Uh, let's see. Let's demand more. All right, nice ball. Oh, hello. What the hell? Okay, we don't want to see what happened uh, with our keeper last time, right? All right, Rubio. Oh, he gets it across. Oh, that was not great. Good ball back up to Schroeder. Oh, there's a ball. Nice. Oh, come on. That needed to go in. That deserved a goal. All right, we are focused after the shout. All right, set piece time. Navarro near post. Kodorowski. Oh, look at that ball. Nico Schroeder turns on it. Sixth goal of the season. Jose Luis Navarro with the assist. You could tell, you can't tell me that guy's only got a, a six or a seven in finishing. That was a stellar goal. All right, they pick up an injury, and we are up 1 0 at the half. Uh, we are getting pretty dominated here. Um,. Poor shot to touch ratio. So do we? I'm gonna dial the tempo back. I'm gonna dial the tempo back. See if that helps us kind of get a little more possession, make less mistakes. All right, we are going to uh, show some. Ask him to show some passion. Oh, nice control there by the keeper. I'm pretty impressed with him just in the two times that we've seen him. Kodorowski, Schroeder into the touchline, and Tom Hill, Nico Schroeder contributes to our second goal of the match. And he is quickly becoming a fan favorite, I would think, as he is doing the business, getting the job done. All right, set piece. These always scare me. Yep. God, dog it. Seventh goal of the season for Sander Solberg. Gets them back to within one. Uh, we need to demand more. Bogler misses the header attempt. Hung his keeper out to dry. They've got another injury. All right, let's see. Uh, Arturo, let's go ahead and put Zek on for him. Get that yellow off the back line. Vogler, if I put, well, actually, hold on, hold on. Let's, let's undo that. All right, Vogler. All right, Zach can only Zach's the only guy that can replace him. All right, yeah, let's get Zach off. I mean, let's get Vogel off. He's really struggling today. Um, and Rubio, let's bring on. Um, who do I want there? They're recommending Absalov, so let's go ahead with him. He's definitely a nice looking player. All right, let's give some praise now. We picked up another yellow on the back line, Norbert Roos. Navarro. Oh, knocked over by the keeper. How oh, he stung that ball. Keeper was probably shaking his hands, I would think. All right, Hill back for that ball. Damn it. All right, there's a counter. Ba. Oh, hello. That could have been a sending off. 
All right, let's make uh, one last sub. I'm tempted to pull one of those guys off, but I really don't have anybody else that can go back. You know what I could do? Can any of them play? Hmm. Not really. All right. Let's let's pull off Navarro for Pierre Gilly. Let's go ahead and do that. And let's tell him to uh, tighten up. Zach chunks it into the box. Can't quite get it over the defender's head. We've got, is that Fluge? Fluge? Don't tackle him from behind, though. Good God. All right, they kept pushing him. Bad angle. That was lucky. Can we hold on? Can we hold on? We're into six minutes of stoppage time. Holy she whiz. All right, they outplayed us, but we get the win two to one. I'm going to be happy with that. Uh, I'm going to be... Yeah, let's not become complacent. Couple of wins. And we go top of the table. Look at that! Transfer deadline day. Makes his debut. Schroeder, one goal, one assist. Of course, we're happy with that. Um... I'm going to go do transfer deadline. You guys don't need to sit through that. And we'll be back for the next match. And we'll wrap up the transfer window. So we'll see you back here in just a second. All right. We are back. We did not do any business. We were on deadline day for transfers. But uh, nothing else happened. <clears throat> but this guy popped up. And we just talked about the fact that we have two lone keepers. So we are having to think about next year. So I kind of had it in the back of my head that if I saw somebody that we could pick up end of season, might not be a bad bit of business. And we have stumbled upon Exeter City 23-year-old goalkeeper Gareth Harbon. And if we take a look at Gareth, uh, yeah, he's a pretty good-looking little fella. Four and a half star potential. Three star current ability moving into a fourth star, six foot six, and he looks really good. I actually compared him against McDavid, and he's better. So, this is going to be a pretty good step up for us next year in the goalkeeper box. Uh, I think we were able to negotiate out his, um, his future sell on. He does have a $1.7 million release clause. Uh, to domestic clubs in a higher division, which is okay. If we got a $1.7 million offer, we'd probably take it anyway. Uh, he does get a 30% raise if we go up, and we did talk him down to under under 700, about 721000 uh, and we had a $625,000 fee. Uh, the Exeter City wanted a 20% future profits we got rid of that so it was a flat 625 one-time payment uh, anything we get down the road is all ours so wanted to share that with you had to stop my train of thought there I had a work call come in uh, so Fridays are admin days we do paperwork and then take phone calls so had to take a phone call um, anyway Gareth Harbon our future goalkeeper so pretty excited about that uh, that doesn't affect us this season, of course. We're playing Shim Shimnitzer today. That's a that's an odd name. It just it's odd coming off of my tongue. Uh, but that's just me. That's that's a personal issue that I will have to deal with. Oh, McDavid, by the way, was uh, named into the uh, Bundesliga Two Team of the Week for his debut. So that was good. Pretty happy with that performance. I think he was unlucky on that goal. He should have had a clean sheet. All right, we're road favorites. All right, what? All right, I remember, I remember that one. And we were playing that one. 
I'm contemplating a, uh, oh, that's what I wanted to look at. Do we have anybody that can play? He can play wing back. He's not good, but he can play there. And he's got the ratings for it. What about the other side? Bogler. If he can play it too. Huh. I'm having a thought. So, there's a tactic that I saw yesterday. And I was watching it on YouTube. And you guys know, if you don't, I'm a big Leeds fan. And football's coming back, and I hope they're able to play. I hope they're able to play safely. And I hope none of the players get sick. Um, you know, but uh, I'm very excited to have football coming back in a week and a half. Or a week, a week from tomorrow. Two weeks from tomorrow. I don't know. It's, yeah, two weeks from tomorrow. So, pretty excited about that. But, uh, you know, being a Leeds fan, um, Marcelo Bielsa, man, worship at that altar, boys. And uh, so it's a tactic that's built around Bielsa's system. I might try to break it in if we can if we've got the players. I haven't I haven't sat down and looked at the system and the positions, but I may look at it after this game. I may pull it up and look at it and see if I can dial it in. Um because it actually, I mean, I only watched a couple of minutes of the video and uh it looked pretty exciting. So uh anyway, and of course Leeds football is is uh, astoundingly good, beautiful football. But anyway, moving on, let's play the match. I think we're going to go with this tactic still. Uh, McDade, Hill, pretty uh, Abzalov is going to be out on that left wing. Bukowski, Kamara, Ru uh, Rubio. Okay, so Rubio is sat down. Christoph Bach. Hill. Composure, decisions. He's got three goals in four. It's not like he doesn't score. Let's let's go with this. Let's go. And it looks like we have a full bench today. Uh, so we've got everybody back from, you know, at least coming back into, into form from their injury. Stein, Navarro. Navarro is going to be on the pitch, so he'll play. Looks like Stein is back. In the mix too, in the center back position, so we do have a, a pairing right there that uh, we'll need a little bit of match fitness. We'll have to watch them close and make sure they're not. Uh... Is he our leading goal scorer? No, he hasn't scored a goal at all. Is he our captain or something? I don't. I don't know. The. Uh... I thought the ball meant goal score. Guess not. All right, they're playing a 4-4-2 flat back. I can't say nothing. I played that for years. Oh, stolen away by Abzalov. Crossed in. Hill's there. Get in there, Tommy boy. Fourth goal of the season. Abzalov with a beautiful steal and assist. We're in the fourth minute. We have already taken a 1-0 advantage. That is very, very promising. Uh, we are going to... Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Ooh! Hit it over. We got a little lucky there. Demand more. Focused. Laser focus, boys. Show some passion. All right. Let's see. All right. Stein's at 81%. So we're going to have to watch him pretty close, I think. And it was a decent ball out that beat our guy. Oh, good header down. Nice ball work. 
Navarro up into space, finds Hill, who cuts it inside, and what the hell was that? No, don't clap, because that sucked. Don't, don't, don't clap. No, that, that was horrible. All right, 62% possession. Nico Schroeder won back possession. Roos lost possession. That's not good for your center back. All right, uh, so Stein, 60%. I think we're going to move him off in about 15 minutes. We're going to make him one of our first subs. All right. Let's see, where are we at here? Vogler. I really feel like Vogler is a liability. There's a ball in. Oh, nice. Sure hands by McDade. Good job. Oh, he throws it out. He looks like a professional footballer, doesn't he? Kodorowski. Navarro. Absalov. Look on the overlap. No, he finds Hill in the middle. And a good save by the keeper. Oh, I thought he was coming out wide there, but that was a beautiful inlet pass to Hill. Was not expecting that kind of movement on the ball. Dropped in. Back out. Reverse field. And nothing's going to happen. All right, let's make a quick sub here. Uh, let's look for Arturo to come in. Zek is injured, thigh injury. When did he suffer that? During the game? McDade is nervous. Uh, let's see. We're going to praise them, see if we can pump these guys up a little bit. Um, what else? All right. Uh, Navarro. Pierre Gilly, Sissoko, a uh, big header out, Urban's there to control the ball, he's got some pace into space, finds Hill, and Hill cannot get it past the keeper, one-on-one -on -one opportunity, you've got to put that home, all right, Navarro, we get him off, Vogler, Schroeder, Back to Vogler. Oh, what a move by Nico Schroeder and his seventh goal. What a stellar play. Oh, my goodness. That. Look at that. He just. Two or three touches. Sets up an angle. Beautiful finish for the right winger. All right. Um, tell you what, let's pull Hill off and let's put, uh, let's give Di Pietro a few minutes. He's got really good finishing. All right. 14 to 9, 7 to 3, five chances created. Two goals out of that. Got to be happy. Excellent efforts. Some good ratings in there for the full time. 8.3 for Schroeder. Hey, Bobby. Uh, more work related stuff. All right, well let's uh let's finish up here. What happened? I forgot. All right, we did win our game 2-0. Good. That's good. Quality of possession. Navarro. So coming back from injury, he looks good. Six straight wins. Hello. Nice. Oh, uh, this has many recalling RC's Skygo Ersta Liga victory with Levendorf in 2070 amid suggestions that further success may follow in the near future. So, <laughs> so hearkening back to last season with Levendorf. 
uh, my history, job history. Yeah, 7071. Nice. And then we jumped over and took the Union Berlin job, even though we weren't actually here. So, yeah. So, we're doing well, man. Doing well. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe we were here. Yeah, we were here. I don't know. I don't know. Why does it do that? All right. Competitions. Top of the table by four points. By four points over Ingolstadt. Gotta like that. Three unbeaten teams, and we're one of them. Don't think we'll keep that up all season long, but that's okay. We're only expected to finish in the top half, and season preview was 10th. So, yeah, don't, don't, I'm not getting my hopes up too high, too high. All right, where do we come back at? I think, ooh, ooh, a home game against Borussia Dortmund. I mean, we'll get our ass kicked, but how about we come back for Ingolstadt and uh, Borussia Dortmund in the Pokal second round? We get a little cup action. Ingolstadt's currently in second. That could be an interesting uh, episode. I mean, uh, you know, we may get double red dots in that one, but, uh, you know, we're, we're in good form. That's worth something. So uh, anyway, let's plan on that. We'll play a handful of games here. And then uh, next episode, we will come back for uh, a couple of big matches for the club. Hit that like button, subscribe, hit the little ding dong bell for daily notifications on daily updates on the channel. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.